Hey guys, welcome back to the third part of the server rack vlog series thing. And in this one, we're going to be talking about the Dell R710, as you can see there. Obviously, we're going to go kind of as we did with the other server that isn't here anymore. And if you're wondering why, it's because this is like a newer episode. The other ones were all shot within like a couple of hours of each other. And this one is recorded probably the same day it's uploaded, if not the day before. But, yeah, I mean, this one's gone now. It's in the process of being sold. There's all the drives for it. Rip. But anyway, yeah, let's get into this one. Now, as, like I've said already, it's a Dell R710. Uh, when I bought it, it is... Well, sorry, when I bought it, it was uh, one Xeon in it. It can take up to two, but it had one in it. It was a Xeon E5640. And four cores, eight threads. It was decent, but I was like, I needed more. Obviously, for a server, you're going to want a bit more than just a single CPU anyway. So I got the exact same CPU again, put it in there, and then I had to buy a heatsink for it. And I'll show you guys that in a minute. But just kind of getting into the server and, you know, just some easy stuff about it before we have to pull it all out. But this is it. It looks nice. I personally, I think these, these are one of the best looking servers on this thing. I mean, an R910 is definitely nice. I will happily take one, and it's probably what I'm going to upgrade next to, but how did it not look nice? So anyway, this drive here, this is these little stickers are lies, by the way. I don't believe these. But this drive here is the operating system. It holds all the files it needs, etc. And it is Water Shocker, the same WD Black. They are all WD Blacks. It's just helpful. And I mean, have loads of them, so might as well use them. But that is just by itself. It's just the drive. This one here, again, is just the drive. Another WD Black. There's the Raw Enterprise drives, by the way. Same as the other one. But yeah, this one, again, is just by itself. But it is uh, file shared across. So that computer can use it. This one, actually is has all the live streams on it and raw footage and stuff that I don't want to have on the main computer because it uses I kid you not it's over a terabyte of storage already it's annoying I see why Linus had a petabyte it makes sense but anyway these two here these ones are newer caddies and it's just you know easier I had to buy these separate because it come with these originally they're kind of just like you know placeholders because you don't need to have all drives so I have to buy these separately and I mean these again are the same all the same and these two are running in RAID 0 so I have about 1.8 terabytes of actual usable space because obviously a little bit of it is you know not used which is fine I mean 1.8 terabytes is fine considering this one holds files I don't want on my computer so for example if I need to well, actually, what I used it for most recently, about a couple of days ago, was I had about 40 gigs of files I needed off of a card. I needed it on my computer, but I didn't want to put all of it on because I'd have to delete some stuff off my SSD and whatever. So I put it on this one instead. This, like I said, RAID 0, so a lot of space, so I put it on there instead. And I just kind of just network over to it and grab it. It's perfectly fine. It works for what I need. It's like a gigabit link, so it's fine. It honestly is fine. But anyway, moving into the more fun stuff, should I say. This is the whole server experience. Lock it in there, just so it doesn't, you know, go in. These rails are great, by the way. They're like the actual Dell rails. And they obviously lock here. And they're really convenient. I'll show you guys the cable management and that. I should be able to. I can't, sad times. But, like, you can kind of see the cables get pulled over here somewhere there is an arm i'll show that in the cable management video where the whole racks forwards and how i've done it all uh hopefully by then i'll have more of these so i can actually oh it's still there we go sorry so yeah i have two more of these and then you guys can see what i've actually done with it properly because just one seems a bit eh but once i have two or three of these it will make sense what i've actually done and not just you know for no reason decided to do it so anyway uh, yeah, now let's get into the insides. And welcome back, guys. Sorry, I just took off the uh, top of it. It's a bit annoying to do it with one hand. I've done it in the other videos, in the first shoot, but it was just 
the camera ended up like flipping down there and it was just like really bad footage so yeah also just a quick talk because we're inside now and i might as well because that's technically why i needed to do it anyway i'll just do this when i'm talking but basically the original video i also reshot it as well because it was wrong there we go it was wrong and it didn't make much sense to upload content that was wrong and yes i could have done an update on it but i mean Knowing damn well you're going to be doing an update on it, that is literally just view uh, view seeking at that point. And I didn't exactly want to just, you know, beg for views and try and upload as many videos as possible. I wanted to do one each, pretty decent hopefully, god damn it. And then make them enjoyable. There we go, easy. Done it a thousand times. Might as well have actually, but yeah, sorry. So, yeah, I had to reshoot it because it was wrong because, as you can probably see here, two heat sinks. Now, when I bought this, like I said, it come with the one Xeon, one heatsink, and 12 gigs of RAM. And it was a very good price. That's why I bought it, because I knew I could upgrade it. Now, it come with four of the five capable fans. Now, it come with the fifth one, like a little black thing in there, and it wasn't actually a fan. It was like a fake bit, just occupying the space again. And these Dell fans are actually pretty good, to be honest. They do enough cooling, and they work. They kind of just go in normally and it's like you know they all go into one bit so it's really convenient for like i just done then we take it out but yeah so i had to buy this fan separately because i didn't know before putting the other cpu in if you have one cpu in four fans if you have two in you need five otherwise it just sounds like a jet engine it thinks the fans are not redundant and it's missing them so, I mean, anyone who wants to, you know, add a second CPU to their R710, that would be why it sounds so loud afterwards. So, hopefully I've helped you guys with some problems, if that was a problem you guys had, because it was one I had, and there wasn't really a very clear answer for it. But anyway, so, lifting up, technically, the hood of it. There you go, that's, like, the interesting parts, I guess. So, yeah, the two heat sinks here, this is two Xeon, oh god, Xeon E5 640s. They are four cores each, totaling eight cores and 16 threads. This is the uh, RAM here and here. Obviously, each CPU has its own, you know, dims. But, yeah, I'll talk a little bit about the RAM, because just kind of down with the CPUs. I'm pretty sure it's 2.3 gigahertz, their base clock. Could be wrong. I uh, don't think I've ever actually looked at it, or if I have, it was like when I was messing around with something. But yeah, it's getting to the RAM. I'll just pull out a dim here, because it doesn't really matter. Yeet. There we go. So this is the RAM that come with the server. It's Samsung... Uh, oh god, my brain just died then. It's Samsung DDR3 uh, ECC RAM. It's 2 gigabytes per dim. No, very, very nice. Just, you know... RAM, it doesn't exactly look very special, it's not got like a gaming shroud on it or anything, but yeah, just pure RAM, it's fine, here's a little sneak peek of putting it in, I love to hear the clicks, sorry I have to be quiet whenever that happens, you just need to hear the clicks, but anyway, yeah, so it's 13, uh, 1333 megahertz, it's perfectly fine for what I need to be honest, I don't really care about getting super fast RAM or a lot of it, but I did mention that's what come with it. It's because the smaller ones that are kind of here, sorry, it's hard to, yeah, that's not happening, but they are about half the height of the other ones. Hey guys, sorry about that, I had a slight problem, but yeah, the RAM, it's fine for what I need, and uh, it's up to 28 gigs currently, because the small ones are 4 gigabyte modules, and another little nice trick you might want to know if you have one of these servers or I, I don't I think it's any server actually, but I mean, I don't know. I don't really have a 10 ton of them as you can see. But it has to be even, both sides, and I'm, I'm actually pretty sure it's all servers. But for example, it has to be 12 gigs over here and 12 gigs over here with the same configuration. Or otherwise it just doesn't work and it tells you invalid uh, RAM configuration, etc, etc. You can see on here it's like different numbers. But whatever, it does actually name it in BIOS for this server, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, so, I mean, that's pretty much the specs of it. It obviously has, like, an iDRAC card and then a H1, uh, H700 card for the drives. And, I mean, that's fine. Pretty much, that's all the server. It's got a redundant PSU, 
So obviously if one goes out, I mean, I should technically have them on different power things, but that'll be explained in the power video probably. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. I'll go ahead and close this up and then, oh God, the struggle is real. It's because it dipped in one side. Sorry, my camera skills is terrible whenever I'm trying to do something. So yeah, that's the server. I'll just put everything back together. But yeah, so we're just going to close it up and then that'll be pretty much that. I'm pretty sure that's everything for the video. I don't really think I need to mention anything else or if I've missed anything, then definitely feel free to mention it in comments. Uh, I can't exactly link you guys this server, obviously, because it's, you know, I got mine from eBay because that actually makes life so much easier. So, yeah, just slide it away. That was cool. There we go. Flashing nice. Yeah, but if you guys want to quickly look into this one, I'll give you guys my quick overview of it. It's pretty good. It's fairly cheap. It is pretty much dead quiet. You can do quite a lot of conf uh, configuration with it. If you want something a bit bigger, go to an R910. I mean, that's pretty much the only really bigger version that's worth going to. But yeah, that's that. And thanks everyone for watching. And I'll see you guys hopefully in the next video. Bye, guys.